Hey everyone, George Edmondson, C Digital Media. I've gotten a couple questions online about how I create the high quality Instagram videos. And so what I wanted to do was a quick tutorial on how I do this using Final Cut Pro X. I've never done a tutorial before, so if you don't mind, go in the comments below and tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like so that I can improve. If I ever do any more tutorial videos, I'll be able to help anyone that I can. Um, I'm usually the one watching the tutorial videos, so it's pretty new to me. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you like it. Go to my website, yourseedmedia.com, and check more of my stuff out. Let me know what I can do to get better. So let's jump in here. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro X. And what I wanted to do is show you guys how I create the high quality Instagram videos. So what I do first of all is whatever video I want to use, I'm going to you know, put my clips in where they're 15 seconds because of course Instagram will only let you put 15 seconds of video up. Now here are my clips. The second thing that you'll want to do is create a compound clip because later we are going to transform this video uh, to a smaller size because of course Instagram resizes all of your videos to fit in their square crop. To do this, simply drag and highlight all of your clips. You can either right click and go to new compound clip or you can have them all highlighted and hold option G, enter, and you're going to get a nice pretty compound clip right here. So there we go, compound clip. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the clip, transform, and you're going to want to transform your video, keep it in the center, down to 55%. So you can see right up there where it says scale, 55%, that's what you want. Because again, Instagram is going to crop your video to fit perfectly in their square crop. Now, this is where you can leave it like this if you want. You're gonna have a black background, or you can go over here into the generators, go to solids. I use white because Instagram's background is white. Go ahead and drag that over to fit. And again, Instagram is solid white, so you're going to want to go over here, bright white. Now, you're going to have a pretty video, right? Well, we're not done yet. The last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to share your video. You can do 720, that's what I typically do because in emails, most emails won't let you um, email over 25 megabytes. So right here, you'll see this is 13.2 at 720. If you go to 1080, well, it's 18.8, so it's really not that big of a difference. So it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. I do 720 just because it's faster and people are watching this on their phones. So you're not going to notice much of a difference between 720 and 1080. Of course, you click share. Share is successful. Go to your iTunes movies. And you should find it in here somewhere. Let's see. There it is. Of course, I've already done this video once, so I've got two of them. Either way, this is what it's going to look like full screen. I can go out, escape, not get in trouble. Battleground is the indoor skate park. So this is really the only place. There aren't really any other parts, but even if there were, I'd still rather come here. So there you go. There is the video. So that's what it's going to look like once you've shared it over to iTunes. The final part is you're going to want to email this video to yourself so that you can get it off of your phone. And that is where 
my goodness. You get the high quality video to your phone. Sending it to myself, from myself. Send. Now, I'm about to get that on my phone. We will show you the rest. It's pretty simple. All right, so you see that I've gotten that email to myself, from myself. Of course, there it is. So that's what it's going to look like, okay? Don't freak out. Go. Hold it down. You're going to save your video. Oops, sorry. I was looking. Open Instagram. There's your video. Perfect. Resizes it. And that's how you do it. All right, so hopefully that helped. You don't have to use a white background. You can use whatever background you want. Um, I know that one other thing that I've done is I duplicated the video and put the video in full size under it. You can throw like a Gaussian blur or something like that over it and it'll look cool. Experiment with it. Um, you can send me uh, the results if you want. Just tag me at Seed Digital Media. That's all one thing on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, Seed Digital Media, or you can find me online at my website, yourseedmedia.com. Thanks. Hope this helped. See you later.